everyone, welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add an audio inside of your HTML code. But before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. So to get started with HTML audio, this is very easy. If you check our previous um, episode in which I was teaching you how to add a video into your HTML code, the process is very similar, okay? So in order for you to add an audio, the first important thing that you need to do is of course download the audio that you want to add into your website and you need to make sure that you input that audio into the file that we have been using so far. So yesterday we had in here forms. Now I am going to refresh this page because I uploaded an audio in here which is called weeks. Okay, this is, is just a simple song. Let me just go ahead and play it for you real quick. Okay, it's just audio, okay? It's just an audio song that I want to add in my website to give you this example today. So how do I do that? Okay, we're using the same resource that we have been using so far, which is w3schools.com. And in here, you are going to be able to see how to do this. So what we're gonna be doing is using the audio element. And let's go back and work in the same website that we have been working so far. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Let me just hit refresh here real quick. Okay, I'm going to go all the way down. And in our last chapter, here is where we added our video. Now let's go ahead and add the um, audio. So we're going to use the audio element. As I said before, let's open our code here. Okay. We're going to start. Let me just input here an H2 saying this is our audio file. Okay. Let's save this. Let's make sure the code is working. There you go. So this is our audio file. It's going to show below this, um, H2. So let's go ahead and add our audio. Okay. Okay. So first thing we are going to do is use the audio element. And inside of the audio element, we want to use the source element here. And uh, what we want to use is the source attribute. And we're, we want to go ahead and we want to find our audio inside of this file. Our audio name is weeks.mp3. And Visual Studio Code's already uh, recognized that we have a, an audio name weeks.mp3 here, and it's automatically giving me the option to select it. So I'm just going to select that, and I'm gonna close this tag. Now I'm gonna save this information, let's go back to our code, and I'm gonna hit refresh. Right now, there is nothing below our H2 paragraph because we have to do something else here, and is add the controls, um, the controls attribute inside of the audio element. So that way we are able to display the audio. And one other thing that we do have to input here is the type of the audio, okay? So here um, we have to input the audio type. So let's go ahead and use the type. And we're going to say that our audio is MP3 because that's the format that we are using, okay? So let's just hit refresh still not showing anything so let's just go ahead and add the controls um, attribute here so that you can see our audio reflected in our website so audio and let's input here controls and i'm going to hit save now you are going to be able to see the audio file here there you go so that's our audio let's just hit play And that's how you add an audio here. So remember, the controls attribute is going to allow you to see the audio that you are inputting in the website. Make sure that you have your file located in the right folder. So that way your code recognizes the audio file properly. And make sure to input what type of uh, format is your audio in. So. I guess that was very easy. If you guys have any questions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. I'm here to help and I reply as soon as I can. So 
that's it for this video everyone if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that way you can always get notified when i'm uploading new videos and you can also learn more about web development i will be always uploading new tutorials remember that you can always ask lixie bye everyone see you again in the next episode